Right, I'm going to have a look at some Akhmatova poetry. Anna Akhmatova, who was writing poetry around the time of Stalin. She witnessed the revolution in 1917. And I studied her when I was at uni, St Andrews, second year, 1994 to 5. And I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was just not ready for Russian literature, never mind poetry. I would have been, what, 22, something like that. But for some reason now I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a really strong urge specifically to read Akhmatova, and it's come on the back of having just read two books by Orlando Figes, a historian at Cambridge, Natasha's Dance and A People's Tragedy, and also a historical fiction novel by Janet Fitch called The Revolution of Marina M. The main character in that book is a young poet, and she idolises Anna Akhmatova and she gets to meet her at the Stray Cat Cafe in Petrograd. I think reading those three books have got me feeling an urge to read Akhmatova again. So I hunted through the loft to find a gorgeous little book that I used to have called Bieg Vremini. It's uh, the running of time, or time runs, or the passage of time. And I had it at St Andrews and I've been through the loft twice, through all the book boxes, couldn't find it. So that upset me a little bit because it's a gorgeous book. But I've just found a used one without a dust jacket and it's on its way from Germany. Anyway, this one I bought online as well. This is Selected Poems, which is part of a collected works translated by Judith Hemshemeyer. And I'm considering getting the complete works. I don't know. Anyway, that's just to say that this is an introduction to what I'm hoping will become a long-term project as I get into this poetry and I get to know it. Now, my Russian is not particularly in a good place. I have been working on it this year. That's what my degree was in. And I used to be a translator, believe it or not. But I gave that up in 2008 when I moved back to Scotland, so my Russian's rusty. And I want to get it back because I miss it. And I thought, OK, why don't I get a bilingual book of poetry? I can read the Russian and then I can read the translation. And then I can read the Russian again and the translation. Try and get the rhythm and the feel and see where that takes me. So. This is the introduction, so I won't read any poetry right now. What I'll do is I'll make a playlist and I'll, I'll go through a poem as I feel like it and I'll read it out in Russian and then I'll read it out in English. And hopefully that will be useful to someone because it would have been useful to me back in the uni days, absolutely. Yeah, my essay wasn't particularly good and back in 94, 95 we didn't really have the resources that we do now for finding recordings and videos and stuff like that. So that's what this is going to be. So in the next video, I'm going to read the first poem, which is called Tsarskom Selye. In Tsarskaya Selo. So, yeah, look out for that coming soon. I'm going to record it now and it'll be linked down below in the description to this one. So if you want to read some Akhmatova with me, come along. See you there.